Okay, I'm going to go through another example now uh, with a different matrix. And to start, we're going to look at the newest neighbor algorithm. Okay, and in this, uh, what we're going to say is that we asked to start and finish at vertex A. Okay, so start and finish at vertex A in this case. So for the newest neighbor algorithm, I'm going to try and do this without writing anything on the network, okay, um, on the matrix. So we'll see how it goes. So the newest neighbor algorithm says, right, we're going to have to start at A, and we need to visit all of the other vertices and get back to where we started, okay? Now the graph is complete, so that's sorted, that's all right. So we're starting at A, and the shortest route out of A will be to D. Okay, so to D, we're going to go first. Okay, now we're looking at the shortest route out of D, but we don't want to go back to A because we've already been there. So the next shortest place will be B. So we're going to go to B next. Okay, so B. Now from B, we've already visited A, we've visited D, so the next shortest place will be C, so that's C for 80, 180. Okay, then from C, uh, we visited A, we've gone to B, we've already visited D, so we've got to go to E. Okay, so C to E for 150. And then finally, we've got to get back to A, okay, by any means necessary, and that's 185. Okay, so we add all of these up together and we get 745. Okay, so that's how you can do nearest neighbor without having to write anything on the matrix. Okay, you need this root, you need the distances. So I like to write it out like this. So the total distance is 745 in this case. Okay. And that leaves us the matrix open and ready so that we can write all over it for the lower bound algorithm if we want to. Okay, so that's the newest neighbor algorithm there.